What's up, everyone? Montana Chill, aka Chad Strat, wanted to bring you another Propeller Head Reason 9.5 tutorial. Um, I just wanted to talk just briefly about something that I, I don't see a lot of mention of or tutorials on YouTube about. And I think, you know, maybe we just take for granted that everybody knows this little trick um, in terms of, you know, how to work with MIDI. Uh, within propeller head reason and so I just thought I'd do a real quick video about this if you already know this um, Great, if you don't you know, this would be helpful for you um, You know, I'm constantly sampling in in an XT or Kong for you know hip-hop tracks and um, You know, this is really applicable for any genre, but I find myself doing this a lot, but I see a lot of people not doing this so um, I don't know why because it's really helpful <laughs> Um, what I do a lot of times is you'll notice I have one MIDI track for Kong, but I have, you know, five lanes of recorded, uh, MIDI. And, uh, I, I just, I don't know why people don't do this more, but you can add as many lanes as you want to any MIDI track or any reason device. Um, and there's nothing stopping you. So a lot of times what I do is I'll record pieces. I might even do it as one single take, so one MIDI track, but then I'll go ahead and copy that clip up how many ever lanes I want and then just delete you know notes from those uh, real quick or I might just record them individually um, and, be, and and what does that give me well it makes working with the media and exp, you know experimenting with ideas in terms of um, you know parts and segues and clip volumes automation velocities um, you know maybe uh, you end up going with a totally different MIDI part Right. So I can just add a new Kong or a new NNXT and just, you know, highlight this entire MIDI track and drag that down into there without, you know, so it's like saving your work in production uh, more than anything. So this is a production tip. Uh, but I don't see a lot of this. Um, and I and I do this for drums. I, you know, I, I do this for, you know, sampled parts. Um, I don't do it for everything, but, you know, um, I will specifically um pull things in and out of my, my MIDI tracks and having separate lanes for MIDI parts uh, really, really helps with that. So uh, this is a production tip and it allow you to just quickly, efficiently, after you've set up maybe your initial eight bar, four bar loops, uh, it'll allow you to just get really creative really quickly and just flow with um, your sound design, uh, applying effects, things like that. So um, hopefully you find this tip useful. Um, make a comment. Give it a like and a share, and don't forget, join me June 9th at 10 p.m. Mount Standard Time for a live sampling and eight-bar loop session uh, just hanging out together. Thanks for watching.